Hi. Hello. I'm doing a video. I'm in my bed right now. I just feel like... No, baby, don't touch it. I just feel like I want to do one because... I don't know. It seems like a good idea right now. Maybe just for a couple minutes. My hair is coming together quite nicely. These front parts are finally starting to lock up. Stone has learned no. No. We're doing a video, son. Would you like to join us? You can pause your your thing and then you can join us for the video. Who are we calling, Stone? Oh, are you putting a new phone number into the phone? She is. That's what's happening. She's using the home phone here. What is this? I don't even know. But whatever. So today is that proverbial Mother's Day. Proverbial. It's actually, it is Mother's Day, Stone. Good talk. It's Mother's Day, Stone. And, and, um, we just went out to dinner with my mother and my sister and my mother's husband and my partner and then the kids. It was pretty cool. We went to have Korean food. We never really went to this Korean. We've never been to this Korean restaurant in Ann Arbor. It was really great. Can't remember the name of it, but we ate with chopsticks and it was really fun. I wanted to talk about. Um, you know what? Will you talk? Actually, will you will you be here with us on the video? Because I want to talk about something. I want to ask your opinion on things. And I wanted to talk about <clears throat> attitudes. And because we all get in attitudes, I get in attitudes, baby gets in attitudes, um, Noah gets in attitudes, we all get attitudes because I think that's like a people thing. And for some weird reason, um, as adults, we expect for our children to act as perfect, so, like perfect individuals when we can't even do that. <laughs> We can, and it's challenging for us to even, um, for us to act like, like we have it all together because, you know, we, we often don't have it all together. Bop Butts, you want some milk? You want some milk? Milk? Milk. You want some milk? There's some milk. And so, yeah. Noah, how, how, how were you feeling when you got to the restaurant? I was so hungry. I wanted. I want. I was about to eat a shoe. You were gonna eat a shoe. Yes. <laughs> okay, but how were you still hungry? Because I I had fed you two grilled cheese sandwiches. I was still hungry. Red right before that. Okay, so you were still hungry. Yeah, I was, I was going to eat a shoe. Okay, he was still hungry, and you know how sometimes when you get hungry, you get like you start acting all out of sorts. Like you, me, <coughs> the people watching, you start acting out of sorts. Look, it's a phone. <gasps> And so, um, so we act out of sorts, and mm -hmm. some people were not happy that we were acting that way, right? And it's crazy because at the same time, some people were also not acting. I don't want to say like their best. Is that a word? Is that what we should say? I don't know. But like, if I'm not, if I'm not in a good mood. You know, it's easy for me to look at somebody else and be like, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, you know, and just start pointing fingers. But then it's like, what am I doing to encourage this behavior or what am I doing to bring this on? It's also something that needs to be done, you no know, discussed and stuff. So how did you feel like it went, Noah? Huh? I, we haven't even, also I want to mention that we have not talked about it. This is us talking about what had happened, really. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't talked about it, so we're going to just do it on the thing, because I like to talk to my son, as opposed to just telling him what's up. So, um, Noah, how do you feel about what happened today? Um, I don't sort of remember some of that stuff, but um, I did feel hungry. Mm -hmm. I did feel like 
Mm-hmm. Maybe I might mm-hmm. not be excluded because mm-hmm. in the beginning mm-hmm. I feel like I was excluded because mm-hmm. nobody was not taking care of me, feeding me. I'm like, why? And in the beginning, I'm sorry to interrupt mm-hmm. you. In the beginning, mm-hmm. when like before we left the house, or in the beginning when we had gotten to the restaurant? Beginning when we were still in the house. Okay. And then when I got to the thing, I was like so ready to eat anything mm-hmm. that they gave me. Mm-hmm. But then I drank so much. Not beer. I'm not even 18. Not I'm beer. Not. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Not beer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not beer. Go to Texas. Okay. I also would like to um, ask you to, when we're talking in the video, if you would speak in a way to where other people could hear you. Okay? Okay. All right. I mean, you don't have to get like all up close or anything like that, but I just want to make sure that we're talking like... We're talking, right? We're talking so that we can be heard and we can understand, so we can communicate. We're communicating. Mm-hmm. Found it. Found Great. it. Okay. Um, so you felt like nobody was taking care of you earlier on in the day, and then when you got there, you were just so hungry. Yeah. And mind you, I had made him again two peanut two peanut butter. <laughs> Not peanut butter. <laughs> again. Not peanut butter. Uh, grilled cheese sandwiches before we left. It was cheese with the Z. <laughs> but, cheese. But um, I had made him some sandwiches before we left. You got a hat on your head. Um, okay, and so how did how did you being so that hungry affect your mood and how you were acting? But late. If someone gave me a shoe, I would have bit it. Yep. And so how did you act because of your hunger? I acted sort of strangely, funnily, feeling like I couldn't feel a thing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I feel like I'm drunk. You felt like you were drunk. Yeah. Have you ever Have you ever been drunk? Do you Do you know what drunk feels like? Yes. You've been drunk before. <laughs> yes. I just drink too much of something. I could just feel like I'm drunk. Oh, when you drink too much of something. Yeah, like I drink, drink too much lemonade. Yeah, I drink too much lemonade, Ma. Okay. Am I drink too much lemonade? Yeah, I got drunk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm, I guess. Okay. I'm not like not in the serious like you really don't want to drink. Beer. Not like alcohol. No. Okay. You can get drunk yourself easier by just drinking too much of something. Okay, so you drink too much taste. of something. Like sometimes water. Okay. Yeah, that's rare. Lemonade. Mm. Pretty common. Orange juice. Hell no. Mm-hmm. Um, what else would be pop? Okay. You could get drunk. Okay, all of these things you can get drunk off of. Okay, I'm just, I was just wondering. I've... Yeah, you can get drunk off of any source. Okay. Just don't drink too much of it. Okay. Now that we've clarified that. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, so you were acting. You said you had, you were acting drunk and things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> About that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And then I had said something to him, to you. Mm-hmm. I had said, uh, how does it make you feel? Or I had said, you know, we want to go to get some ice cream later or something like that. Um, but we don't want to go there or people might not want to take you if you're acting not nice or not good. And then what did you say? I was like, that, that, that sounds like a punishment. Mm-hmm. And I thought we talked about no punishments, remember? Yeah, we did. We definitely talked about punishments. I don't punish my son. Mm-hmm. because We I, talk. We do. We talk. Because punishments mean that there's, I can't communicate with him. Mm-hmm. Or, I'm, or there's some reason that we don't communicate well. Mm-hmm. And so I have to punish him or withhold my love from him. And I don't want to ever withhold my love from my son. I love him very much. And because we talk about things and we keep the lines of communication open, um, instead of reacting and, like, he has bad behavior and then I react to change that, I just have to go... Um, I give him, hey, son, this is what's going on right now. We're doing X, Y, and Z. I would really appreciate it if you would act this way. Or, or or I would, like, let him know to what to expect so that when we get there, he's not, like, you know. And I think that that's what happened today because my mom kind of came over and we didn't really know what we were doing or where we were going. And, like, everybody was kind of like, I don't know. 
So it was just, it was just weird. It was uh, part two. Okay, and so we had a call. In the middle. Thank you, yeah. Stone. We had a call. Somebody, his dad called. So ah. it interrupted our video. What were we talking about? We talking about punishments and um, what and we and punishments and why that we shouldn't do punishments. Okay. Yeah. So um, I feel like there's always. A bit, like we can communicate. We don't. Ha I don't have to like hit him. I don't have to. I don't have to withhold love. I can just talk. Like there's a way to talk about it. Here, butts. Here, butts. There's a way. There's a way to talk about it. Without. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, talk to him. So he knows what to expect. Therefore, it cuts down on a lot of the guesswork, and so instead of freaking out, like a lot of people do, a lot of people freak out when they don't understand or know what to expect. A lot of people can't go with the flow, so they act out. Children are the same way. If you tell them what to expect, they will act cool and act accordingly. I used to tell him when we would go to like, like when my brother graduated, I was like, hey, there's going to be a million people in here. I'm going to need you to stay by me. I need you to, to hold my hand. I need you to always, you know, and, and all of the things that I expected out of him. I told him what I expected from him, and he was like, okay, Mom. And then when we would go, and he would just be cool. Like, we would all just be cool. Um, so, yeah. And how does, that, how does that make you feel, Noah? That, that I know what to do. I know what to suspect. I know what to be. And it could help us a lot better. What do you mean? Like, you could help children around the whole world. It doesn't have to be a nine-year-old. You could do it right now! It's, this is possibilities that we're helping you try to get. And also, you can bond better with your child by doing this. And if you don't know what to do, maybe you m we might help you by taking these advices and watching these videos. Actually, I'm glad I'm in it. Yeah? Cool. Mm -hmm. I normally do videos uh, Monday through Friday. I shoot live videos, but recently with my internet being out, I had just recorded a couple of videos, like we're doing now, just recorded them on the iPad and then I upload them. But, um, yeah, so, why are you eating me? <laughs> it's funny. Okay, but, so we, um... Yeah, so I didn't tell him what to expect, so I think he was kind of freaking out, and then there was other people in our party that were also, like, just not in the greatest mood, and it's just, because they didn't know what to expect either, and, like, they tend to be really upset, and they don't know what to expect. It's like a people thing, a human thing, but I don't know. It's just, it's just interesting how it all works out and how it all plays out, and I, I'm, like, the kind of person that I just like to observe. And I just kind of, like, let things go and let things be. And then, like, I don't know. I just, and then afterwards, I'm kind of just like, okay, what can I change within myself to make this? Because, like, I, or, if, like, if I don't like what happened, what can I do next time to change in myself to where this whole situation doesn't happen again? And that's kind of, like, where I was at with this and where my whole head was at. And I don't know, other than that, like, it was just a, it was a really nice time. We tried some Korean food, and it was cool. Noah, what did you eat? I ate just basic pho with just noodles. Yeah, we just had noodles. It wasn't a beef broth, mm -hmm. but it was just noodles, and it all worked out. I had actually something really good. It was rice noodles and vegetables with extra veggies. The baby had, oh my gosh, the baby, she had shredded, shredded sh cucumbers. cucumbers. It was so funny. Like, they were just like these little tiny, tiny cucumbers. It was really good. Tiny, 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 tiny. Tiny, no, it's not tiny. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> you win some and you lose some and you learn and you get better and whatever. I think I think that overall it was just a really beautiful experience, and I got a chance to be with my mom, and my sister, and my daughter, and my son, and my partner too. Oh. I need to.
brush my teeth. Do you need to brush your teeth? Let me see. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh -uh. You're not seeing it. I see them on the thingy. That's okay. Stone is like sitting here being so cute, but I don't want to like jostle her because if I jostle her, I feel like she's gonna. She put the phone to her ear and she's like, hey, here, baby. But yeah, I just wanted to record a video. Because, oh, and Noah, how how do you feel, or how does my parenting style? It's working out pretty greatly so far. Okay, but well, when we see a new idea, we're going to try it out for a few days. And then if it's okay, we'll, we'll keep it. If it's like in the middle, we'll try it out some more. If it's like not good, we'll just um try a different idea. Ow. We do, I do. I try different stuff. Um, I find different things on the internet. And she hit the button again. So I guess we'll just, maybe we'll just call it a day. Yeah, let's call it a day. But it was really great being able to film with you to do a video with my kids. Yeah, I got on, an iPad too. On Mother's Day. Um, I really just wanted, I didn't know what I wanted today until like I woke up and was like, I'm not getting out of bed. And I did not get out of bed. I went to the bathroom. I did. I cleaned up pee though. It's <laughs> still in the bed though. Um, it was a pretty nice time. I really just hung out in my bed and watched Lost in Space on Netflix and that Kimmy Schmidt show. It's really funny. I kind of like it a lot. <laughs> but yeah, and it was just really. Nice. I really just wanted to be like wait, served in bed. My partner didn't want to. I just wanted some almond toast with some maple syrup. <laughs> Ugh. It's almond butter. You eat almond butter. My sister made you cookies at one time and then had almond butter in it and you loved it. You a monster. Almond butter cookies? I'm a monster? No. <laughs> um, what? We have no new messages? Thanks, butts. But yeah, um... It was just, it was a great time, and I'm happy that it happened, and, yeah. Is that so butt butt? Is that so butt butt? Is that so butt butt? Um, yeah. <laughs> don't hit the button, please don't hit the button again. But, um, yeah. I didn't know what I wanted. I really just was like, I just want my kids. And then I was like, I'm not getting out of this bed. I don't want to do any diapers. I don't want to clean the kitchen. I don't want to. I don't want to. Because I do that every day. And so it's fucking Mother's Day. And everybody's always like, I'm going to take care of my mom. Mom gets breakfast in bed. And I'm like, you know what? I want breakfast in bed. So I did. I had almond almond butter toast and with syrup on it. Maple syrup. No do for me. Wait a minute. You had waffles? Like you eat. Waffles. I'm kidding. I love waffles. Yeah. Give me a waffle and I'll chew in six seconds. And I'm still in the bed. I'm in the bed right now. So. <laughs> like no, mom, you walk out, mom. You got out the my bed. Mom, my mom got here and then I got out of the bed. I got dressed. And then my mom, I, like we just got back. And so now I'm back in the bed. I'm going to take my pants off. Oh, your dad's coming. <laughs> Maybe I'll take my pants off anyway. That's that guy. I'm at my house. Oh, pants on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll just figure something out to do. I just I told I remember when I was a little kid and my parents used to yell at me all the time and call me a liar and say really mean, awful things to me and about me. I don't like it. I remember just being like, when I'm making a promise to myself, I like wrote it on my soul. <laughs> being like, I, whenever I have kids, I'm never ever going to treat them the way that I was treated. Ever. Like mine. I got treated that way. And I did, I did treat them pretty, not awfully, but like. Well, kind of awful. I realized that if you don't consciously do it you're still you're unconsciously doing it if you don't consciously think about what you're doing you're unconsciously playing that same tape in your head so like you don't know how to relate to children except for the way that you were 
related to in the past. And so I was going through those same motions and things and realizing, oh my God, like I'm doing this again. And so I started researching parenting and gentle parenting and how to how to chill and how to relax and, and all of these things. And then I looked at my son. I was like, man, I got to get sober. <laughs> like this whole sober thing, like he's nine. He's like almost nine and a half. And I mean, I guess I've been sober now for almost two years. But still, like I had to do it because because of him, because he deserved better. And I, I just got sober because I got pregnant with her. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to not drink anymore. I'm, I'm okay with that. So I, and I haven't, which has been great. But yeah, so I just wanted to learn a different way to relate to my kids. And I promised them that I wasn't going to treat them that way. And I was going to listen to them. And I was going to honor them. And what do you think, son? How am I doing now? Cool. And you know, you don't have to like say it. If you're like, hey, mom, you're messing up. You can just let me know. And I will change it. But this video, if I keep all the pieces together, has been about 20 minutes. And I'm going to upload it to YouTube now. But thank you. Thank you for being with me on Mother's Day. And listening to a little bit of how I parent. I'm going to make probably several videos on, on parenting because... I might start a YouTube channel. You might. Who knows? But... I hope you have a really great day. And yeah. Ba, 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 ba. So I was watching the video and I know it's already long, but I saw a part on there and he said that he was being treated badly. And I asked him, what was he being treated be What was it? What was, how was he being treated badly? And then I was like, let me just put it on the video. So can you, how are you being treated badly? I was treated badly back in the day before Storm was here. And um, as I was getting more, more, more punishments, I, I, I felt afraid to do what was best for me. So I just stay alone and follow the rules. Okay. And don't uh, hang out a lot. So, so it might be a rule. So that's why I just stay alone and follow the rules. So you're staying alone yeah. instead of. Or, Doing what's best for me because I'm afraid I might even break another rule. Then go in the corner, slapped. A lot of bad things. Taking my toy away. Grounding me. Yelling at me. And even in punishments, they start to not like you as more. Hold your head up. Come here. And. <laughs> yeah. And that one time when I was crying, and then my dad was like, mm -hmm. Tough it out, boy. So, I trust my kid. What do you expect me to do? Punch you? No. Because I feel like a lot of punishment. All the things I've told. But don't tell my dad, please don't. He's so So, um... Punishments make you not make you be afraid of doing what's best for me. Doing what's best for you, and what do you feel like is best for you? Like most of the stuff I try to do, like I want to play with something, but then, well, when I get in trouble, um, then I don't want to say anymore. I'm too uncomfortable. Is it making you uncomfortable to have this conversation? Yes, I need, I need some time. I just okay. want to, I just want, like, okay. Come here, can you sit up so I can get my arms around you? Hmm. Okay. I just want to, as always, you don't want to be on camera? I can get on camera if you can catch me. <laughs> if you can catch me, he says. I just, it's not that I want you to be upset or uncomfortable, it's just, I I want to make sure that I'm being the best parent for you that I can be. And the way that I do that is by asking you and talking to you and seeing how you feel. And then that way I can make changes as necessary. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and that's all that this is about. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But I love you. And I understand that you are just a little kid. 
And I know that your dad, he likes to, he likes to be tough and stuff. But I think sometimes he forgets that you're still, like as much as you're part him, you're still part me. And I'm tough, but I'm tough in a different way. And what way? I'm tough because in the way that I look inside myself. And instead of being afraid of what's there, I made friends with it. Huh? Yeah, a lot of people are afraid to like sit with themselves because they're afraid of who they are, what they are. But I'm I'm tough in that I, I sit with it and I make it my friend. And also, um, how else am I tough? I, I'm, I'm really courageous and I ask for what I want and I talk about what bothers me and a lot of people are afraid to, to talk about that kind of stuff so but I'm I do it and that's tough that's tough stuff it's tough to be honest ab about who you are and what you want because a lot of people a lot of times in this world, we, we're told to just take it or sit down and shut up, right? Mm -hmm. But to be vulnerable in this world where everybody's mean, it's a lot. Are you hot? You feel hot. But, yeah. So, you talked about how you had felt, right? Mm-hmm. And how punishments made you feel. And it made you feel uncomfortable to talk about how punishments make you feel. Mm -hmm. And that's why, it's part of the reason why I listen to you now. Mm -hmm. Right? Even that one dream, remember that one dream that says, when it was, that is, when it was cold, I was getting a cold. He said, no, go, it's warm, no, it's not that cold. But then you got this mind in your head in your dream. You try to listen to your kid. He knows when it's cold. He's not... He's not gonna listen. You, you gotta make sure he gets a cold before he just goes outside. Those are gonna freeze. Mm hmm So... So did I have this dream or did you have this dream? You. I had a dream. And I remember it because you told me about it. Remember? About a coat? About uh, listening to you? Yes. I don't remember. But I will look it up. We also, we look at, we talk about dreams every morning. I call Noah every morning before he goes to school. And every night before he goes to bed. For at least 30 minutes a day. A lot of times 45. But that's okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to look that dream up. We're going to Google it. But anyway, I'm going to add this to the end of that video, our other video. There was something else that you had said. In that last, because I watched the whole video and I was like, wow, I totally didn't even acknowledge what he had said. But thank you for sharing with me. There was one other thing that I wanted to talk about that you had said. <sighs> I don't know. But one of my other kids is crying. I've got to go take care of the kids. So many kids. I love how this side of my head is so long and like put together and this side is like not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, thank you for watching my extra long video. Pay attention to your children. I love you. Thank you for being vulnerable. Vulnerable? Yeah, and for talking about how you feel. Vulnerable? This, yeah, because what happens is when we open our hearts like this and we speak from our truth, is like somebody could be like, oh, well... Somebody could use that as ammunition against us, but in reality, though, it's... Depends on your soul. I feel like it's the it's the realest you can be. And, and if somebody is hurting you, then... That's how we get real change. Being vulnerable. I love you. I love you. I love you. The end.